Hey guys and welcome to my first video on crochet with Nika where I'm gonna be showing you some crochet patterns. In this video I'm gonna be showing you my crochet crop turtleneck sweater um, because I got many compliments when I finished it. I haven't done many patterns yet but I think from what I've done so far this is 100% the best one so I decided to share it with you and what we're going to need for this project is obviously crochet hook I'm going to use the 5mm hook for most of the project and I also got this 4mm hook for the ribbings and like cleaning up the edges because we're going to be doing um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 separate pieces which we're going to be sewing together with a darning needle obviously you're going to need this to sew them together it's going to be quite a ride to get to the end but it's all worth it it's not that hard i would say i'm not sure if it's like really beginner friendly of course it's a big project and you need a lot of patience of course because you're not going to be ready in like one hour <laughs> i don't know how long it took me to make this but obviously i was writing the pattern so it took a bit longer than it usually would. Of course you need scissors too. Sorry, I forgot to <laughs> mention that. The most important part is probably the yarn. Um, I live in Germany and I have this like 500 grams yarn ball from Kik. <laughs> it's 100% acrylic yarn and I got it for nine euros, which is I think really affordable. It says that you're supposed to use a four to 4.5 millimeter hook. Um, but I feel like the 5mm hook works perfectly fine for this. I got two of those. <laughs> and yes, I'm filming on a towel. <laughs> um, I got two of these because I made one for myself in a size extra small. And I used one whole yarn ball, 500 grams. I think there's like 50 grams left. And my sister wanted one and she's a size small. So I decided I'll buy two just to be safe as i said i already made this for myself in a size extra small and now i'm doing a size small and if you guys would like a bigger size i can try making patterns up for that too uh, just let me know if you're interested in that because right now as i said this is my first video i don't know if anyone will like this um so yeah i'm just starting small so as i said we're gonna make a size small in this video so i'm gonna start with a simple slip knot i just put the yarn around my fingers and pull through if you don't know how to make a slip knot and you it, this was too fast for you there's plenty of videos where people explain how to make a slip knot um it's pretty easy but i don't know how to explain it because it took me a really long time i'm gonna be honest with you guys so we're gonna be chaining 65 for a size small hey this is me from the cut while making the sweater i was still adjusting the pattern so this version of the pattern is not cropped if you want a crop size small i would recommend you to chaining 57 to 60 or measure the chain from your collarbone to wherever you want the sweater to end and that should work so i'm sorry but just making this clear so we're gonna yarn over pull through this is one chain yarn over pull through two chains and that's what we're gonna do until we reach 65 so one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 63, 64, and 65. So now that we got 65 chains, um, we're gonna start working on row one, which is gonna be half double crochets. This whole project we're gonna be working half double crochet back loops only so what we're gonna do is first before we start if you're a beginner i really recommend you to use stitch markers because when i started crocheting i didn't know that you could use stitch markers i was just like doing it free-handed 
I was like really sad because like most of the time I had to undo the project because I just lost count or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I don't have stitch markers right now because this is my own pattern. I feel really um, confident in making this without stitch markers. And we're gonna start doing half double crochets now. So we're gonna skip this very first stitch right next to the hook. And we're gonna chain uh, yarn over and go into this next stitch, next chain, and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through, get the loops on the hook, <laughs> yarn over, and pull through all these three loops. So we're gonna do this for the whole row, just like that. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three, yarn over, next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. So that's what we're gonna do for the whole row one. And when we reach the end, we should have 64 stitches. And I'm just gonna do that till I reach the last stitch, the last chain, and I'm reaching back there, and then we're gonna see how we continue on this pattern. That's that most city that's I that you can't go around at night. You like to get me out of you know what you want inside. So I'm pretty much done with row one. I have one chain left here next to the slip knot. I'm going to chain over, go into that last stitch, last chain, chain, yarn over, <laughs> pull through, and yarn over, pull through the three loops on the hook. So now we have row one done. I'm going to be chaining one, turn the work, and now we're going to start working on row two so now we have this chain one over here and we see all these little v's okay Where, how can i show them <laughs> like that there are all these like v-shaped stitches and we're gonna work half double crochet back loops only which means we're gonna yarn over and then go into this back loop of the V. I'm gonna go in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through three loops. So now, if when you've done that and you're using stitch markers, place your stitch marker right here in this very first V that we just made. And then we can continue. Um, yarn over, go into this back loop of the V, right in there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three loops. And we're gonna just continue on doing that, yarn over, go into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. And this is what we're gonna do for row two. Exact same thing as we just did for row one, just now we have a clear vision of the back loops. So, yarn over, go into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. So, we're gonna continue with this pattern and I'm gonna meet you back when I'm at the end of row two. So now I'm at the last stitch, which if you use stitch markers, there should be your stitch marker right here. And I'm gonna go into the back loop and hop double crochet. So now we're at the end of row two. Um, as you can see, because we're doing back loops only, there's this like knitted effect. The sweater is gonna go like this. Um, from your belly button to your neck. So now I chain one and I turn my work 
Now we're gonna just continue on with the pattern as we did with row one and row two. If you use stitch markers, your stitch marker is gonna be in here. This should be a total of um, 64 stitches. If you're not sure, count. It helps a lot. If you count and it's like one off, if you're at two rows, that's no big deal. But if you like go and go and go and just count at the end and you realize you made a mistake and you have to like undo the whole project, it's frustrating. I've been there. <laughs> so um, count the stitches. Be sure that you have 64 stitches. And then we can continue with the pattern. We're going to yarn over, go into this back loop from the first uh, stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through again. And if you use stitch markers, you're gonna place your stitch marker over here in this very first V that we just made. And we're just gonna continue with the pattern. Just continue with doing the half double crochets in the back loops. And that's actually what we're gonna do for the whole front and back panel. Um, until we have a total of 46 rows. So I'm gonna continue with the pattern and I'll meet you when I get like half the part done and show you what it looks like so you can be sure that you're doing everything correctly. Um, be sure that you have this like knitted, knitted style because that's also gonna make our project stretchy which makes it a lot easier to put on with crochet products. I always find that it's kind of hard to put on because they're not as stretchy. So using this like back loops only stitch is very helpful to get that stretch. And it looks really nice because it's like this knitted style. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna meet you back when I get some rows done and then we'll see what we're gonna do next. So right now I've done 17 rows in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, we're not done yet. We have to do um, 46 rows in total. But I wanted to show you what the pattern should look like. As I said, it's this like knitted style, which I really like, and the straight edge, which you should get if you use stitch markers. You go yarn over into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that's where you put your stitch marker. I'm telling you that because I feel like. In some videos, I was always like kind of off because I didn't know where to put the stitch marker, but I find that this just makes most sense. And I'm just gonna continue on with the pattern until I reach 46 rows, and then I'll meet you back and we're gonna start working on the sleeves. So I'm done with the front panel now and I've done the back panel too. The back panel is exactly the same pattern as the front panel. So you're just gonna make two of those front panel things. <laughs> and then you have the front and the back. And as I said before, it's really stretchy because of the back loops only. And now we're ready to start with the sleeves. The pattern is basically pretty easy because you're gonna do pretty much the same with the sleeves that you just did with the front and back panel. You're just gonna have to make it longer. Instead of chaining 65, you're gonna chain uh, 82. You're gonna just measure up how long you want the sleeves. The chain you do will be the length of your sleeve. So let's just start doing that. Starting on the sleeves, we're gonna make a simple slip knot again and start chaining. And we're gonna chain 82. So it's a bit more than the front and back panel. So one, 
two, three. So now that we've done a chain of 82, we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we just did on the front and back panel. So right now we're just gonna do half double crochets once again. We're gonna yarn over, go into the second loop from the hook, um, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops and then once again yarn over into the next chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over next chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and that's what we're gonna do until we reach the end of the row so i'm just going to continue on doing that and then i'll meet you back so here i am at the last chain I'm gonna yarn over, go into the last chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through, and chain one. And I forgot to mention, I would have put the stitch marker in the very first stitch that we made, in the very first V. So now we're gonna start working on row two. We're gonna turn our work and start yarn over go into the back loop of the v yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through ew i hate the noise that my crochet hook makes i feel like it's because my hands are kind of sweaty i don't know it uh bothers me quite a bit so i've got the first stitch and as i said before put your stitch marker in here if you feel safer um, that way and then we can continue yarn over go into the back loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through again yarn over in the back loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and that's what we're gonna do for the sleeves as you can see it's just the same as the front and back panel um, just that it's a bit longer because we chained 82 and so I'm not going to be showing you any more of the sleeves um, I'm just gonna finish both the sleeves because there's literally nothing new to this you're gonna do exactly the same instead of making 64 um, half double crochet back loops only you're gonna be doing 81 and yeah that's the only thing that's different and we're gonna do a total of 41 rows for each sleeve so i'm just gonna do that and when i get done i'll meet you back so i finished this both the sleeves now they basically look the same as the front and back panel just a bit longer and you're gonna fold them in half so that you have one sleeve, your arm is going to go through here, that's going to be sewn together.